How's it going, everybody? It's me, Shane. I'm here once again to bring you another Kanikuman Perfect Origin Arc episode review. It is episode 10, technically 11, entitled Demon Cloud, Devil's Will. Before I go any further, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of more reviews like this one. And you think to yourself, I want to support that guy even further. My Patreon link is in the description below. Anything you give, dollar, five dollar, whatever you give, I deeply appreciate each and every last one of you. So, last time, remember, Kanukuman did, like, the protagonist thing and got Peak to turn on his on his side now and so we're at the final battle i say final battle but technically it, it is the final battle of these first mm, six if i remember correctly i know black hole one one uh fake ass foot soldier crush man one one tabo men's one the other one um it was a draw between marlin man and atlantis r.i.p and kanikuman he won his, and now it's Budo. Yep, six fights. Six fights. So, let's talk about... I always forget to pull up my calculator, my transition calculator, because today's cut-in is the mountain. It's the mountain versus Budo the Strong. You know, Budo the I can't stand his ass. Can I stand him? He's so damn... <laughs> Don't worry. My, my name i think i think someone might replace him for being more annoying to me but he is the mountain is 285 centimeters which is nine foot four inches he a big boy he weighs one ton i don't even have to convert that that's 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 one ton and he's five hundred thousand power which is kind of sad because if i remember correctly let me just let me see something here. You got someone like Peak, who is 42 mil. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And so this was highlighted as being Judo versus Kendo. Because, well, the mountain wears Judo clothes. He did a Judo flippy. Uh, even the little, the little um, recap about his battle with Terryman. Terryman. Terryman was played. Um, so he does judo. Obviously, Budo is dressed like a kendo guy, and he has that kendo stick of doom. You got man, for I gotta keep reminding myself this is wrestling, so a kendo stick is like, yeah, it's a super weapon. Although, if I can think of any other anime where a kendo stick is a super weapon, oh, Roni Kenshin, yeah, there you go, that's another one. So, my bad, my bad. Um, the mountain's home turf is where they are fighting over this canyon, I think, in Oklahoma. I am I think. I think. Um, so, his face wasn't... I, I, I thought his whole face was like cracked, but his, just part of his face. The, the eye part here, actually, if I'm... This camera's flipped, so it would be the right eye. Just cracked all the way down. And, um... We learn... We learn a bit about the conversation of buffalo man coming back to the uh akuma chojin demon choji if you will right um uchimata super heavyweights oh yeah 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 with the flip flip judo flip he did a judo flip uchimata i i got both my notes here but we learned more about buffalo man so i guess i could talk about buffalo man joining right although it it leads into I guess the climax of this, and I don't know if I want to talk about that so soon, but let's 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 talk about that. So, Buffalo Man obviously got out of his pod first, went to them. The, the leader's gonna let him back in, and his entire deal is like, look, you know, after I just left like that, I know I ain't got no, you know, no reason, no, um, I have no what's what I'm looking for. I shouldn't be allowed back in, kind of kind of deal. The word escapes me, but you have black hole comes up and just like sure you can him which you know makes him move back a bit but it's it's buffalo man and all of them are like all right we're square they already been studying the perfect large number chojin those jackasses and they've already decided their matchups but they're all like yeah we're square now we're cool the leader let you in we want you in and by the by which i guess um Stakaskin, or as I like to call him, Cassette 
King or Cassette Man. It's like the only person that can really lead us is you anyway, Buffalo. You know, we wouldn't have been able to make it through. There was one incident I want to say that happened in the past that they said they couldn't make it through if it wasn't for him. So, uh, Stick, Stick has King saying, yeah, my interim uh, leadership is over, which is kind of funny if you watch. If you watch wrestling, watch AEW, there was like interim champions. And I'm kind of, that just made me go, oh, that's kind of funny. <clears throat> that's kind of funny. But they talk about the matchups and Buffalo Man is like, yo, Mountain, let me fight Budo. And Mountain's like, no, I'm going to be yours. You don't, you, you're not anybody's sacrificial lamb. You are literally the ace. Doesn't say eight. Well, he says ace literally, but the translation was like, you know, you're the um, standout, but he is the ace. In Japan, if you're the ace, you the ace. You, you know, like uh, Tanahashi, the ace. If you're the ace, you're the top. You're the dude. You're the guy. So you're the ace. So you're not going to be a sacrificial lamb. I am. So just pay attention to the match. You know, if I lose, if I lose, watch that and learn from it. Just look at his weak points. Just learn from it. All right. And then they all do the horns and we see them all throwing the cloaks and everything. And of course, we get this flashback because Mountain getting his ass whooped, bro. Like, he apparently has the strongest grip of all the Chojin. He does, you know, the uh, Uchimata, the flip. And he's looks like he's winning. But then Budo, oh, God, I hate him so much. Budo's like, okay, you're strong. I, that's really commendable. And Budo, I think, I, I got to remember the, the order, the, the, the sequence of events here. I guess it bears um, stating that the mountain was also called, uh, was it, was my notes to say here, a terrifying destroyer who used his extraordinary power to crush other Chojin. Um, he's a super heavyweight. What was his move called? Uh, his move called Mountain Press. Literally, jumps from the top corner. Pow. Falls on top of you. Uh, even in this fight, though, Terry... Terry was like, yeah, I can say he's working out because his muscles and his pecs, which is how does a mountain work? What, whatever. Don't, doesn't matter. Um, he has a, one of his moves, judo moves called uh, tom, Tomoe Nagi. No, again, another judo flip move. And he he's doing good, right? But when Budo... Grudo grips his face and like I also got a strong grip right tell me how what do you think of it um and I think he picked he picks him up with one arm and is at one point where Terry's like you know Terry is talking to Spring Man and Buffalo Man about how you know strong the mountain is and his lice his license his shoe his shoelace breaks which always means bad things are gonna happen and buffalo man's like did your shoelace break oh shit sorry picks him up does a one-arm brain buster on the guy he talks about how inferior children grown so much he kicks off the mountain's left leg literally just kick it's it's off uh talks about a disheveled uniform a disheveled is a disheveled mind just like grips him and pushes him back and head almost headbutts him Talks about uh, the fundamentals of martial arts, and I gotta relearn that to you. And this is you're you're seeming unseemly right now. Like, damn, that one arm brain buster was cool though. I've never seen it done in wrestling. I don't think you can ever do it in wrestling because you risk killing your opponent, and that's not what we want. And uh, his face is a little. That brain buster broke. Like his teeth are showing. His teeth are showing on that side. Like. Looks like um, Two Face from Batman anime series, or you know, Two Face from Dark Knight if you want to go that far. But you know, anyway, talking about anime series, right? Um, and so their goal, he again, Budo talks about their goal. Their goal is to purge and massacre the inferior Chojin. But Mountain shown, has shown him promise, so instead of killing him, I'm gonna let you live as a human. And does his move that turns you human is called uh, Zero Tragedy. And so he's taking away his power and everyone's all shocked like, ooh, ah. And the mountain, um, you see 
the mountain face uh, sh- sh- going in and out. He's like, I can't believe it. You're ugly as a Chojin, but you're kind of handsome as a human. But the mountain said, nah, I'm, I'd rather die as a Chojin than live as a, as, a per- as a human. And, you know, this is when we get the flashback of the Buffalo Man because he tells Buffalo Man, he's like, remember your promise? I am going to remember the promise. And, <coughs> excuse me. And so he does the other f- the other flippity do on Budo. Uh, and again, is reiterated that Buffalo Man is the only man with the manliness and ability to lead them, which is kind of funny. He Buffalo Man, I I don't know what wrestler he's he's based off of. I need to look that up again for my own edification. But I swear, when he's like he's like nine feet tall in this curly hair, he's almost like a mixture of a not lazy Andre the Giant and like Ultimate Warrior, just kind of like mixed together. But yes, um, Mountain Stamina is at his limit. Budo does a, a rolling kick. And so he does this move. What does he do? He um, he comes back with a clothesline. And then he does the perfect helm breaker on the mountain's head. Just like comes right down on it. Which dude's a mountain right he's been chipping away dude's entire top of his dome just comes off and it's like blood obviously blood <laughs> i just said did we just watch this dude like damn near decapitate a guy and he does the undertaker cross the arms on the chest match is over and terry's all upset and terry's wondering how the akuma chojin can be uh calm and they throw up the horns and he vows to avenge him and um, what did he say? Uh, you got Budo talking more shit about the Akuma Chojin, saying that, uh, man, even though he was an inferior Chojin, you trained him pretty well, didn't you? Um, let me flip this over here. Now, here's what's now here's what's even, even uh, not funny, but here's where things get a little bit more interesting. Apparently, Budo knows who the leader is of the Akuma Chojin. He's like, yeah, me, me and your leader goes all the way back. And Buffalo Man's like, don't you dare. Don't you dare. And, you know, all the other, you know, non-Akuma Chojin, like, hmm. And then the crowd's like, oh. And, then, you know, now some man is like, oh, he knows the leader. And Budo says, oh, so since you don't want the people and the Seiki Chojin to know, I'm going to tell you who, tell them who your leader is. Oh, by the way, Budo, not Budo, uh, the mountain's not dead. Grabs him, does a, does, uh, looks like he just does a Pokemon move, uh, magnitude, stomps twice, and breaks the chains over this, uh, chasm to sacrifice himself. He's like, I'm just, I, I'm gonna take you with me. If I'm gonna die, you dine with me. And the mountain's like, remember this, don't let it be in vain. And of course, Budo's like, Argh! which it's kind of an anticlimactic way for him to die. So I'm pretty sure this man ain't he ain't dead like we would like him to be, right? <sighs> wait, 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 wait. And so, as all of this is happening, Black Hole comes out of the tunnel with literal holes in himself it makes me wonder okay this dude's like y'all are like superhuman super beings right and i get like crazy shit can happen to y'all and y'all survive like a normal person would just be gone already but do you have like literal hole like he's like a paper bag man with like holes all over him i'm like do you heal do you even bleed bro i'm he was cool though when he won you know with the whole cut off dog man's head i did not like dog man dalmatian man uh kanikuma makes it back with meat he has peak with him spring man's all pissed off like why would you bring him back he's like hey that's my friend we ain't doing that uh kanikuma again chops buffalo man he's going like man you jerk you joined the akuma chojin again tee like kanikuma is He's not non plus, but he believes in his friend so much. He's like, oh man, you little, ju- you gonna join back up with them? All right, all right, though. We still friends. We still, we still going out for waffles, but okay. <clears throat> but now, uh, someone talks about, no, 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 don't get ahead of myself. Now we have, 
Where's my guy? Kanikuman grabs Terry Man's hand, Buffalo Man's hand, put it together, then gets um, Peak's hand and put it in there and say, look, make a new treaty. You know, the Kuma Chojin, the Segi Chojin, and the Perfect Chojin. Just remake this treaty again. Because we don't need all this fighting and violence. I, what I appreciate about Kanikuman is that even though this show is entitled Kanikuman, and when the first C series, first part of this large ass story ended, you know, he's the hero and he's like, all right, I got to become king. And he shows up when the people need him, you know, Goku esque, or Goku's like him. But regardless, regardless of such, Goku esque, since this was written after all of you know, in 2011, 2010, right? Very Goku-esque. But he's not even trying to be the leader here. He's like, yo, Terry, Terry's the dude. Buff, you the dude. And Peak, since you're the only one that's not an asshole, you the dude. Let's get this going. But of course, from the sky falls fake-ass foot soldier crush man, terrible men's, and a green Kaniku clan person with uh, two, four, I think five other people or four other people, sorry, falling behind them. You know, talking about uh, just I forget exactly what they said about the inferior Choji, but they're all falling down. <sighs> we have new perfect large numbers. Looks like things are, things are about to kick up once again, but there's one more episode after this, so and wait till I tell you about that. So, all in all, what would I give this episode? I didn't even write in my notes what I gave this episode. Um, I give it a four. I give it a four. I really see. See, last episode, I'm pretty sure I gave a five out of five. And the episode before that, I gave a five out of five as well. Although I was I was iffy on the five out of five because you know you ended the Atlantis match and led into the the peak. Peekaboo versus Kanikuma match, but that episode was really good, really solid. Last episode, all his fight, really good, really freaking solid. This one's kind of like, okay, did anybody really think the mountain was going to win? Regardless, if you haven't even read the manga, I know I haven't. There's no way he was going to win. I'm not even talking about power levels or any of that shit. I'm just talking about he wasn't going to win. You could tell. Budo's the, the main guy. And then you have the flashback where it's like, hey, I'll be the sacrificial lamb, but I'm going to try to take him out. So you pay attention. By the way, you're the ace. You're our dude. So we're not going to have you go and do any fighting. All right. We're saving him. We're saving him for something else. We're saving him for something else. But yeah, four, four out of five. It's only because some of it was predictable. I probably should have done the review this review after i immediately saw this but solid episode gave us a gave us parts of the reason of what's going on but then you dangle that carrot right there like i know who your leader is and i'm like oh who is the leader i actually thought mountain was dead not gonna lie I thought it was dead and then the whole falling part so four out of five um that shock ending of like it's funny because we saw episode one two three was it three episode three where terry man's about to go and fight max radio we saw the other five dudes in the pointed hooded y'all really sh don't don't do pointed hoods anymore they're black they're black cloaks but don't do pointed black cloaks anymore we saw five other dudes in pointed black cloaks and it's like oh that makes right and I was, and I even said, I said, huh, who are these other guys? And when you have the Akuma Chojin come in, also wearing black cloaks and just going, foo, 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 you go, oh, were they them? No, they, those guys were not them. They were a different them. But I do appreciate in that flashback, them showing like the five, Atlantis, Black Hole, Staircase King, Mountain, Atlantis? No, Pharaoh guy. Shiver me, Pharaoh. Why do I feel like I'm missing people? Pharaoh, Stakes, uh, Atlantis. Guys, I wish you guys could help me right now. Pharaoh, Stakes, Atlantis, Mountain. I'm missing somebody. I'm missing, missing somebody. I guess I'm not missing somebody. Shows those four though. 
throwing on their cloaks. I guess Spring Man did put on a cloak too. That's where the other cloak is. Because Kanikuman went and did a fight. And we have Pharaoh. We got London. Black Hole. There we go. Spring did not put on. Black Hole put on one. So we got to see those five put on the cloaks. Which I'm like, good answer to continuity. Thank you. Because it'd be kind of weird to be like, all right, we're going to join the battle. And it's like, so in between them leaving and going there, did they go get cloaks? That's just a silly thing I would have probably thought of if I remembered or cared about the cloaks. So points for you. Points for you putting it in there. So it's four out of five. Let me know what you thought of the episode in the comment section down below. Budo is gone. Whoop, whoop. For now, probably. There's no way he's dead like that. So, if you enjoyed this, please get a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you have not, so you can stay up to date on reviews like this. Please be good, be blessed, wash those hands, drink some water, be safe out there, okay? Be good to yourselves, be good to others. Either way it goes, please don't be a jerk, all right? I appreciate each and every last one of you, and I hope you appreciate yourselves, all right? If you're feeling down in the dumps, you got some dark thoughts, reach out to somebody, talk to someone, because there are people out there that would rather talk to you today than to miss you and mourn you tomorrow. I guarantee it. If you want to talk to me, my social media is in the description below. Give me a follow, send me a message, tell me your favorite finishers right actually tell me who's your favorite in these first fights so far um i am a bit of a of a kanikuman fan like i, I liked his son i like kid muscle but i like kanikuman and atlantis in these fights and after that it is stakes king those those are my favorites from these from these initial fights of the good guys i don't know max radio's design is funny Given that it reminds me of Abigail from Street Fighter um, Five, but I kind of liked his design a little bit. I think he's like the only one whose design I didn't find annoying. Like Turbo Man with the with the weird revolver stabbers, those things are cool. But Max Radio has the best design out of those guys, those initial guys, in my opinion. Answer the question: Who 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 have you liked so far? I'll see you next time, guys. We're going to muscle out. I'll see you on the next one.